The skin is our biggest body organ. Many skin diseases are caused by excessive exposure to sunlight over many years. Light-skinned people are at higher risk because of less natural skin protection. Outdoor working and change leisure time activities are risk factors too. The most common skin disease caused by sunlight is actinic keratosis. The areas most exposed to sunlight are most affected. The face, the scalp, forehead, nose and ears. Actinic keratosis can develop into a life-threatening skin cancer. Therefore, we recommend the most effective modern therapy, combining a highly effective treatment with red light. I've noticed you have actinic keratosis, chronic damage to the outer layer of the skin caused by sunlight. It's an early form of cancer, so-called squamous cell carcinoma. Actinic keratosis is a tumor-like growth of cells within the epidermis, the protective outer layer of the skin. It's caused by excessive exposure to sunlight over many years. It's a precursor of skin cancer, starting with non-visible subclinical actinic keratoses. In the further course of the disease, the actinic keratoses will reach the skin surface visible as red macules, rough and dry textured skin lesions. The disease can develop into squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma is serious, and for this reason, you are advised to have the diagnosis confirmed as soon as possible by a dermatologist and start appropriate treatment right away. There are various therapies for the treatment of actinic keratosis. Dermatological guidelines recommend photodynamic therapy as a highly effective type of treatment. This type of therapy is also associated with excellent cosmetic outcomes. Innovative research in recent years has improved efficiency of photodynamic therapy significantly. Many people, especially those who are middle-aged or older, are affected by actinic keratosis. Experts estimate that in fair-skinned populations, approximately 15% of men and 6% of women suffer from actinic keratosis. This means an initially mild skin symptom has the potential to progress to more widespread disease as life expectancies have improved. Here we see multiple actinic keratosis plaques on the forehead. After degreasing the skin, the plaques are scraped by a process called curettage to remove some of the tissue, thus enhancing penetration of the medication. The medication is then applied to a thickness of approximately one millimeter. During the incubation period, the area being treated is covered with a light-proof cover. Excessive exposure to sunlight affects not only small skin areas, therefore it's recommended that larger areas are treated. The cover promotes penetration of the active substance into the skin without a premature reaction to the light. During a three-hour incubation, the active substance specifically accumulates in the damaged skin cells. Here the transformation into the light-activated agent called protoporphyrin-9 will take place. Afterwards, the area is exposed to a cold LED red light lamp for about 10 minutes. There may be some pain during and shortly after the exposure phase. This occurs because of the targeted destruction of the diseased cells. It indicates that the therapy is working. Within the tumor cells, the interaction of accumulated protoporphyrin-9 with the light energy produces reactive oxygen, which is a powerful cytotoxin. This process, which is known as the photodynamic effect, kills the damaged cells without affecting normal cells. To help reduce the pain, the area of skin can be cooled with an airflow. 
the treatment may cause inflammation of affected skin areas for a few days. This is essentially how photodynamic therapy works. After seven to 10 days, you can see the success of the treatment and the excellent cosmetic outcome that is still getting better over several weeks. By using photodynamic therapy, in many cases, no actinic keratosis is seen after a single treatment. Especially when having problem skin, you must always take care to protect yourself from light by using an appropriate sunscreen or suitable clothing such as headwear. Photodynamic therapy is a highly effective, selective and by dermatological guidelines recommended therapy for actinic keratosis, offering an unsurpassed cosmetic outcome.